Hi and welcome to these videos on Adobe InDesign CC Advanced Tips and Tricks. There's a whole lot of useful information in here that you're not going to find easily in books. Things like RGB and CMYK blending modes, how to create and save table formatting, how to put images into type, type on a path, all kinds of useful stuff. If you like it, this is my company and this is my website. Please visit me there and if you're kind enough to give me your feedback, I will get back to you. How about if you want to put an image into a frame that looks like a word? Well, the first thing you're going to need is the word. So I'm going to get the type tool and click and drag and make a little type frame. And then I'm going to type the word bluebells into it in all caps. And I'll highlight that and maybe change the font to Arial's pretty good, but there we go. Arial black, that'll do better. The bolder the better. And I'm going to make that a bit bigger, just so it's kind of easy enough to work with. Now, if you've ever inherited work that other people have started, you've probably found that one of the most irritating things is people tend to leave text frames, really big text frames, overlapping all kinds of other stuff. And you go click on something, and you don't select it. You select something else completely, because the text frame happens to be overlaying what you wanted to select. And wouldn't it be nice if you could just close down a text frame around the contents? Well, guess what? You can. If you double-click on the bottom right-hand corner, there you go. Now, it doesn't always work in the way that I've just shown. If you've got a multi-line paragraph, it's probably going to change the line ending somewhat. But with something like this, a single word, yeah, great. Now, I'm going to park that over on the left here. And if I hold down... Control and Shift or Command and Shift, I can hover over a corner and then click and wait for a second and then drag. And that is going to make sure that the frame and the contents expand together. Now this is still text. So the next thing is I'm going to go type, create outlines. It's now just a frame, the shape of the letters. And it's all one thing. If I click away from it, then click on it, it's all still one thing. So now if I go File Place, which is Control or Command D, and then choose this image, Bluebells, there it is. Now it doesn't completely fill the frame. You can see it ends, and then the black background takes over again. But if I click on that icon in the middle, that's my image. And if I hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and then click and drag on a corner, after waiting a moment, because then you get a live preview like this, Holding down the Alt key expands the image from the center. Now when I let go, there's my bluebells, and I can tap them up. There we go. You can just see in the background, there they are, bless their hearts. And that's how you can put an image into text, which is really effective. You could also then, if you wanted, add some special effects, like perhaps a drop shadow. Let's turn on Preview so I can see what it's going to do. And that's what it's going to do. OK. W for print preview. Kind of nice. So I hope you liked that video. I hope it's really helpful to you. And if you think it might be, please do visit my website. Send me your feedback. I will respond. You can also find links to all the places that host the full course if you're interested, and a lot more stuff besides. What have you got to lose?